Benny Sek, I'm your girl Benny, and today I'm so excited to be bringing you yet another recipe because your girl has been working, your girl has legit been working. I'm telling y'all, this is going to be my year. Today, we are making plantain waffles with peppered goats. This right here is the real deal because I know some of y'all are out here acting like foolish goats. Foolish goats. Stop it and get into the kitchen and get you into some of these peppered goods, okay? If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe to know the notification box so that you always know when I upload. And if you haven't followed me on all these platforms, what are you waiting for? Like seriously, come here. What are you waiting for? Subscribe, follow me, do all of the things because your girl is out here just, you know, being fabulous, okay? Let's get into this video. So obviously you're gonna be starting with a few pieces of goat. I have also already put in one piece of pepper. Now we're gonna go in with our seasoning. Now as far as seasoning, you really just gotta go with what your ancestors are telling you, right? If your people knew how to cook, trust and believe they'll tell you when to stop. If your people did not know what to do in the kitchen, you're gonna follow these few ideas. You're gonna go in with half a tablespoon of cumin, just gonna sprinkle that baby right up in there. You're also going to go in with a little bit of oregano because oregano will be giving that herby, earthy vibe that we like. Also one tablespoon, okay? For those of us whose ancestors don't know how to cook, all right? You're also going to go in with this chipotle cabo, something grab. Let me just show you what the container looks like. You're going to go in with also half a tablespoon of that as well now goat already has you know flavor of its own so you don't really have to go crazy at least for me i like the flavor or the taste of you know goat meat and whatever the case is so i've been i've been enjoying myself and now we're going in with onion powder same thing half a tablespoon we're gonna double this up because again, onion, you can never go wrong with onion. We will double this. So in total, it should be a whole tablespoon. But I'm not gonna go find a whole nother thing to show ya. Ya gonna make do. And now because of heat, we are gonna be taking it easy and not actually measure. You will just go with your intuition. This is a little bit of cayenne pepper. Nothing too wild, okay? And then lastly, this is optional. I do enjoy rosemary. I love the vibe it just like provides. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit. Now rosemary, you don't wanna do a lot because baby, one time I could not breathe because that rosemary was too much. Now you're just gonna go ahead and mix this and you're gonna set it aside to marinate for at least an hour. Or if you got the time, if you know you're feeling luxurious, you're gonna go ahead and let it marinate for a whole night. So like marinate it overnight. But at the very least do an hour so mix it first and then do an hour and uh, just because we want a little bit of extra flavor you're gonna go in with a little himalayan salt i prefer this salt because i feel like it's i don't know just to give it the vibe just a little bit we don't want to go too wild so about yay so and then now we're gonna go in and mix Our goat meat has been marinating for like a few hours and now I've gone ahead and added six cups of water six measuring cups not six drinking cups we're gonna go ahead and turn on the stove and we'll just like let it cook on like medium you want it to get tender so I'll let you know how long the total of the cooking time is in just a little bit so in here I have a whole red bell pepper. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend it and add it to our goat meat that's been cooking. All right, so the goat has been boiling for at least 30 minutes or so. At this point, we've reduced the heat because if you people wanna be chewing for two days, that's your business. But for me and my household, we're gonna lower the heat so that the meat can actually soften. And so once the heat has been lowered, we're gonna go ahead and just like throw those blended peppers in there. It is called peppered goats. We have some peppers already in here and then towards the end, we're gonna add fresh peppers as well. So the 
butter is still cooking and we're gonna go ahead and add half of a red bell pepper and just like half of a little white onion just to give it a little redness towards the end as it starts to actually you know saute itself y'all gonna see the whole situation i promise y'all all right so it's been about an hour and a half that our goat has been cooking it is nice and tender now at this point you can go ahead and you know bring the heat back up that way you're not taking five hours to just cook goat you know what i'm saying so you can bring the heat a little bit up at this point it can cook down because again it's already soft all right so our goat has cooked down to about yay much now you're gonna add just a little bit of olive oil i'm not even gonna do a lot like right there is enough because this goat already has a little bit of fat and we don't want oil on oil please do not clog your own arteries because of too much oil that you're putting in food relax and while that's going we're also gonna go ahead and add the peppers and the onions gonna go ahead and start mixing and you will leave this you know open to just like get all nice and juicy this is the point if your food you know doesn't have enough salt if it needs a little bit more garlic whatever you think it needs this is the part where you go ahead and add it because it's really wrapping up at this point this is what it's looking like right now nice and juicy and if you try it if you try just like breaking with this wooden spoon, look at how much it's breaking, right? This is how soft you want it. You don't want anything too chewy. Just don't do that. And while that's happening, you're gonna go in with four plantains. They have to be ripe, because some of y'all don't know how to follow directions. The plantains have to be ripe. I'm using four because I'm making for two people. And in this household, we just love plantains. Even if there's leftovers, we're gonna figure out a space in our stomachs to put it. I repeat, make sure the plantains are ripe, and by ripe, I mean the skin should be looking something like this. Please, 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 if you do not like sweet plantains, go ahead and find something else to eat. This is not the recipe for you, okay? Now that you have those, you're just gonna go ahead and divvy it up in two. You should end up with two pieces like this. It doesn't really matter what it looks like because again, we're turning it into waffles, but we're just gonna go ahead and divide it into so our oil has been heating up a little bit we're just gonna go ahead and gently fry this on both sides now you're not gonna over fry this because some of us wanna get really wild with everything you're not going nowhere you're just gonna stand right here and make sure that nothing is burning it's just gonna get a little brown right nothing too wild we don't want anything to burn, you're just gonna let it cook for at least a minute, a minute and a half on each side. This is what it should kind of look like on both sides, right? You're just making sure that you get a little situation going on. So now our waffle mix has been preheating and I've just sprayed a little bit of, you know, situation. Then we're gonna just go ahead and place the three that came out already in the waffle maker. We're gonna line them up in a way that it will easily smooth together. Now, if you wanna end up with like a much smaller size, obviously just reduce, put like two. If you want it even smaller, put like one at the same time, right? But I want it to be a little bit, you know, full and whatever the case is. And I'm just gonna go ahead and smash it close. So we smashed it closed and we're gonna let it cook for about a minute and a half. That was just like nice and golden brown. Once your goat looks like this, you know it is all done and ready. Go ahead and turn off the stove. Okay, so it should look something like this once it's done, you know, cooking in the waffle maker. This part in the middle was doing a little just extra stuff, so I had to like pull it down and then cover it again. If that happens to you, don't worry about it, just like put it down and then cover it again, it should be all fine. So as you're moving this, be very, very gentle as to not break the beauty that you've just created. We got it out. What I ended up using was this knife to just kind of like help pull it out. And once everything was safely lifted, I just used a spatula, scooped it out and put it on the plate. Nice and pretty. 